What's up guys, Nick Shaw from the Baseball Box here for another unboxing video. The February box, the 131 ship date, which actually got out on 131 and February 1st. Um, this is the box. All right, so let's check it out. The theme of the month was the pickle. Now, probably one of the most synonymous terms in baseball, uh, well-known phrase in baseball is the pickle. As a, as a young kid, I know I got excited every time there was a pickle. And if you heard other baseball people yell pickle, you knew exactly what was going on. So why not make it a theme of the box, okay? Um, we have the uh, pickle design up here in the top. Um, our loyalty symbol of the month is also the pickle. If you're keeping along with the loyalty card, that is number three. Cut that out, staple it, tape it, do whatever you need to do to your loyalty card in the number three box to keep along with that. Um, we go through what a pickle is, first of all, and how to get out of the pickle and how to make an out if you're part of a pickle. Okay, so both on the offensive side and defensive side of the pickle, I go into that to explain the base way to execute each. Um, we have some items coming this spring. We've got batting gloves, okay, like I talked about, wrist guards, throwing trainers, agility aids. We have equipment bags, which I am excited about. I actually up the order to make sure I got one of those myself. Um, and a bunch more, all right? I couldn't name everything we have coming. Obviously, I have 13, 14 items already ordered being produced for you guys with some designs on them that I think you guys are gonna love. Um, we also have our batting glove size chart. Okay, so check this out. Um, determine which size your ball player wears, and you can now log in on the website and update your batting glove size, okay? That way when I pull orders for next month and we fill boxes with batting gloves, I know exactly what size your ball player is. Now, if your ball player wears the same size batting glove as their shirt size, there's no need to update the size on the website as they will get automatically get the size of their shirt size, okay? So check this out. Um, if you need to update the size, make sure you log in. Um, you're gonna click manage, update choices, um, go through basically the checkout um, form again um, and you'll update the batting glove size it'll be the last question okay so that is that um, we have our one of our subscribers of the month Cameron Lewis he's from Whitefish Montana his favorite food is steak and his message to fellow baseball box subscribers is just when you think you're done keep pushing till the very end I love the messages um, you youngsters have so keep them coming again if you want to be the subscriber of the month we do two every month um, send the answers to these questions to the Facebook Messenger inbox and I'll get you in the box as soon as possible. I have a running list of everybody who has messaged me those answers. So again, I'm getting you in order um, as fast as I possibly can. So diving in again, the theme was pickle. So I'll dig deep to the bottom here in that theme and we'll grab our shirt of the month, which is actually a pickle design. Okay, it's got pickle. On the very top of the shirt, it's got a little pickle design of a pickle that's in a pickle. Um, and it, on the bottom it says, it's a baseball thing you wouldn't understand. Again, um, in general society, if you yell pickle, they're probably thinking the food. Um, in baseball, at any baseball field, you know exactly what that means to be in a pickle. So we have our shirt of the month is the pickle shirt. Uh, one more pickle themed item, we have the matching headband. Okay, it's got a circle here. It's got the pickle guy in the middle um, and it's got a bunch of different baseball designs on the headband. Again, Bryce Harper is big, big, big amongst other ball players as well, but he is huge into wearing headbands. I actually love wearing headbands now too as well. I grab one each month. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the matching headband to go with the shirt. We have our socks. Um, it's got a baseball diamond with life in the outfield, baseball life. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these socks. We had a youth and an adult size. Um, if you're a youth size shirt, you got a youth size socks. If you're an adult size shirt, you got an adult size sock and hope that it um, fits even better than having one size sock. We have an eye black stick. Okay, we've done stickers in the past, um, but we finally got our hands on some eye black sticks. Now these can wind. Um, and these are going to last you quite a while, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy the eye black. It's fun. I know we did the rally contest. A lot of that is drawing eye black on yourself. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. I use eye black every single time I took the field, personally. Um, and it was an eye black stick as well. 
So I wanted to share that with your ball players so they can have their own style when they take the field. We have a lanyard. It's got a blow, bubble gum blowing guy on there and it says can't baseball buy. Okay, going into spring baseball, there might be a lot of friends that are asking your ball player, hey, can you go do this on the weekend? Can you go do that? Um, and his answer might be, I can't. I have baseball. Um, so that's the idea behind the saying on the uh, lanyard. It was very, very popular not too long ago, this saying actually, and I enjoyed it. So I figured I'd share that um, on an item for you guys, um, a lanyard. Hope you guys enjoy that. We have a bat weight. Now there were two forms of this bat weight. One is a sleeve, a small sleeve like I'm about to open right now. And the other was a donut. Now our young, young kids got the donuts because they were lighter. Um, so they got the donuts, the use smalls. A lot of them got donuts. This is actually a sleeve that attaches on the handle of the bat where the barrel starts to widen out. It'll hook on right there, okay? And you can swing this in the warm-up circle, on deck circle, or you can actually do drills in the batting cage with the weight um, on the bat. Again, strength and wrists, uh, forearm strength, it does a lot of that. Um, it provides a little bit of difficulty getting the barrel to the baseball. That way when you take it off, it's that much easier to get the barrel to the ball, okay? And you guys know how big I am on barrel control. I've talked about that many, many times. I design items just for that. This is one of those items that can help, okay? So this is a weight. While we're talking about barrel control, you've seen this item before, this product before. I actually had this made personally. Um, we got three more contact stickers, okay? Again, attach this to the barrel of the bat. It will leave a blue mark where your ball player hits the ball, and the goal is to get it into the sweet spot okay as many times as possible so if i were you i would put it on your ball player's bat whether they're having a lesson or taking bp in the cage on their own slap one on see where we're making contact um, and you can make it a lot of adjustments based on this sticker okay where you're making contact most youngsters um, don't quite know where the ball is hitting the bat which is totally normal i didn't realize that until i was using wood bats and i was in pro ball and you can see the indents on the, the bat itself. I didn't realize exactly where I was making contact. And from that, you can make adjustments with your swing. So that's the idea behind that. We have a little agility hand-eye coordination item here called the reactive catch. It's got a full description on what it's for, the benefits of it, um, and how to use it. Again, this is for agility, hand-eye coordination. Um, and it'll challenge your ball player's brain as he's doing an athletic movement. Okay, you're just gonna basically throw this item to your ball player, call out a color, and while they're doing their athletic or non-athletic movement, they are just gonna have to grab or catch this item by the color that you call out, okay? Again, it's got a full description here, uh, the reactive catch. I think this is a very, very stimulating item um, for your brain. Um, athletically, I think it's great. So I hope you guys get a benefit out of that. We have our bracelet of the month, which is actually a glow-in-the-dark bracelet, as was the blue one we did recently. Um, it says, winners train and losers complain, okay? It's easy to make excuses um, for failures, trust me, I've done it. Um, especially in baseball, there's a lot of failure, okay? But the more you train, the more you will win, I promise you that. Um, so at the end of the day, hopefully we win more than we lose, um, and that's the idea of it. Either way, hopefully we're having fun out there. Again, it's not all about the wins and losses, but um, the higher you go, the more that's valued. So I'm trying to train our ball players to, uh, to work as hard as they possibly can and hopefully um, experience some success along the way. We have our snacks of the month. We have sunflower seeds and a variety of snack item. Um, the other one is kind of a variety pack. So you got two snacks there. You, of course, got bubble gum. All right, I don't want to and I can't pick up all that. Um, we have hand warmers, okay? It's cold a lot of the country. We're a little warm today here in Florida, but we've even had our, our cold spells with some more on the way, I think. Um, so those night games, especially early, early spring, can be chilly. So I wanted to include some hand warmers for your ball players to hopefully keep them warm and toasty during their game. We have our sticker of the month, actually two of them. One's a little holographic sticker, which we've done before. It says frozen ropes, which of course means line drive, okay? And the theme of uh, a lot of snow around the country, I figured I'd include this frozen ropes sticker and frozen ropes tattoo. This, these were a hit um, in past boxes, the tattoos. I think we did five of them total. So I wanted to have another tattoo made up because those were um, such a hit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. 
our 12th sticker for our baseball blocks sticker club which is the final sticker is here it says more than just a game it's got home plate and some baseballs and a heart figure around home plate um, because it is more than just a game um, it's been my entire life um, so it's not just baseball it's not just a game trust me I know that more than some do okay so attach this to your baseball box sticker sheet in the 12 box and if you've been following along for 12 months you are finished okay the baseball box sticker club sheet is now posted the contest is now posted on the Facebook page so attach your completed sheet as a comment on that post and you're entered to win the grand prize is going to be a custom bat and a custom glove depending on the number of entries um, I'm gonna amp up as many prizes as I can possibly give away all right so again make sure you're entered into that if you followed along for 12 months I very much appreciate um, those of you that have followed along and have been with us for 12 consecutive months um, who, who have allowed me to share a smile with your ball player for that long. So I want to give away some prizes for you guys, okay? Now, we have our spring training contest, which is this month's uh, contest, all right? All you're going to do here is spring, uh, spring training actually starts on the 22nd. I believe there's only one game. On the 23rd, there's four games, okay? This contest, we're looking for the total number of runs scored in all those four games combined. You're gonna put that right in this blank here. If multiple people guess the correct or they're exactly um, the same amount of closeness away from the correct guess, we're gonna to move to the second uh, question here, how many total hits, okay? So if we only have one correct guess for the total runs, they're gonna be the winner. If we go to a tiebreaker, we'll go to the next one. And those people that are tied, whoever's closest for the second question will be the winner. If there's two people who are tied um, from the first two questions, we'll move to the third, which is total errors in those games, okay? So simply write the answers your ball player thinks um, are correct for those questions. Um, add it as a comment in the spring training contest post, um, and you'll be entered. We are going to draw a winner the day after the game, which will be 2:24. Sometimes we leave these contests open a little bit longer um, so that our new subscribers can get in on the contest before we move into the next month. Okay, that's the reason why I set a deadline and sometimes we extend a little bit just to allow every ball player their chance um, who gets a box, allow them a chance to get into a contest. Okay, I never want to ship a box um, without a contest entry. I know there's tons of good stuff in here. That's why I put it together. I try my best. Um, I know they're getting their money's worth with the contents but I wanna also give them a little further excitement with the contest as well, okay? So that's why sometimes we run a little bit beyond that date, just to allow all new subscribers to get in the action as well. Um, we had a fun little instructions card um, as well, the process of opening your baseball box and the process of anticipating the next month's goods. So that was just a little fun I wanted to add to the card. Um, a couple of further announcements. We actually ran out of our branded boxes this month, okay? holiday orders actually pushed a little further than I thought um, and ran us out of boxes a little bit early so some of you got a plain white box with a sticker here okay um, the name was also on the inside of the box obviously and I actually did a little apology sticker on the inside I don't know how much the branded box means to you guys but for me I want to provide the absolute best experience possible so I really really like the branded box so I hated that I ran out of them um, but I wanted to get the boxes out on time. I didn't want to wait for the boxes to deliver, um, but they should be here within the week. Um, so for the next box, we'll have brand new branded boxes. They're actually a tiny bit different, so I'm very excited about that. Now, couple um, announcements. Again, update the batting glove size on the website. Batting gloves are slated for the upcoming box. Okay, it's going to be the March box, the 229 ship date. They're scheduled for that box, so make sure you update your batting glove size, as I'll probably be pulling all orders on around the 24th or 25th of the month to get ready for packing, okay? So make sure you log in on the website, update your batting glove size so that we can get your ball player the correct batting glove size the first time, okay? Um, content feed section. We upgraded our website a little bit. That way in your customer portal, when you log in on the site, I'm going to be able to add videos and updates that I think are important to you guys um, just to keep you going through spring and through the rest of the year. All right, I'll add instructional videos um, by position, whatever I have that I think will help your ball players out during spring. 
I will add those to your content feed section, which all you'll have to do is log in on the site and you'll have full access to all of that. Okay, again, I'm trying to increase the value of the experience I'm giving you. Um, and this is only gonna be exclusive to you guys in your content feed um, section of your site, okay? Only for subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoy that stuff. Um, I'm gonna provide as much as I possibly can to you guys in there. Um, again, to hopefully provide excitement for your ball player, but help them grow as well as a ball player, all right? I'll add the unboxing video in there as well each month. Um, just anything I can think of that is beneficial to you guys, I will add it in the content feed portion of your profile, okay? Sticker club post, I've already discussed that. Make sure you update your sticker club um, poster, completed poster, add it as a comment um, on the live post now that's on the Facebook page. And the referral program contest. I'm gonna be launching a referral club, uh, sorry, referral program contest, okay? So if you guys didn't know, right now you can log into your site. You all have an individual referral code. You can share that with friends who may be interested in the box. You will get $10 credited towards your next box, okay, with no limit. So we have a customer who's referred 29 customers, okay? So she got credit for 29 separate orders, okay? $230, because there was a $5 um, credit uh, system going on there for a while, but now it's 10. So you get $10 for each referral through that link, all right? So you can rack up some free boxes pretty quickly. On top of that, on top of the referral credit you get, um, we're actually gonna be launching a contest. So the top refer in a given month um, will win one of our bats or a custom glove, okay? So look out for that on the Facebook page um, coming up very, very soon. As well as, I just donated team batting gloves to two high schools in the area. Um, one that I helped coach at, one that I used to go to um, as a player. So I donated batting gloves to the full team. I'm gonna launch another giveaway on the on the Facebook page very, very soon where I'm gonna give away batting gloves to one of your ball players' entire team, okay? Um, there'll be some rules to enter, but it's gonna go to a subscriber's team, okay? So one of your ball players is gonna win batting gloves for their entire team that are gonna match in their sizes, um, and hopefully that helps them feel even cooler going onto the baseball field and even more of a team. All right, so I think that's all I've got. I'm sorry this uh, video, ooh, no, sorry. One more thing. I forgot about Caden Jackson, okay? Our second subscriber of the month, Caden Jackson, okay, on the backside of our contest card. Caden Jackson, his favorite baseball team is the Seattle Mariners. Um, and his favorite baseball memory is hitting a bomb off his friend. I mean, that's pretty cool. You got some bragging rights um, for that for sure. I actually hit a home run off one of my close friends in college. And to this day, we still talk about it a little bit. He doesn't like to, but I do. Okay, so that is pretty cool um, for Caden. I think that's all I've got now. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for the opportunity to make your ball player smile. Um, looking forward to a great spring. A lot of success, a lot of smiles, a lot of fun to be had on the baseball field. And I am so pleased to be able to have the opportunity to be alongside your ball player through this spring season. So thank you very much. Um, and thanks for the opportunity.